Good day. Welcome to Partakers Think Spot at the start of a new week on Monday, the eighth of August, two thousand and eleven. Today we have a special guest, Pauline, who is going to share some thoughts with you. Over to you, Pauline. Matthew six, verse fourteen and fifteen says, "If you forgive men when they sin against you." Your heavenly Father will forgive you, but if you do not forgive men their sins, your heavenly Father will not forgive you. God takes the forgiveness of others very seriously. Notice it does not say forgive others if they are sorry for hurting you, or forgive others if you can understand why they behaved in that way. We are to forgive everyone who has wronged us. Full stop. In Matthew eighteen verse twenty one, Peter, who was obviously having a problem with one of the other disciples, asked Jesus, "Lord, how many times do I have to forgive my brother if he keeps on wronging me?" Jesus' answer, seventy times seven, means that we have to go on forgiving someone who hurts us. Again and again, no matter how many times. Forgiving someone means not telling other, others what they did to us, so that we can get sympathy. It means doing good things for them, praying for them, blessing them. Matthew five verse forty four says, "Love your enemies and pray for your persecutors." Luke six verse thirty five says, "Love your enemies, do good to them." And Romans twelve verse twenty commands, "If your enemy is hungry, feed him. If someone has hurt you so badly that you find yourself replaying what they did in your mind, try thinking of something kind that the person has done to you. Every time their misdemeanour pops into your thinking, if that is not possible, then just actively think about something completely different." It will get to the point that you can think of the person without thinking of what they did, though this can take years. Actually, like everything, like every other thing that God asks us to do, forgiving others is our is in our best interest. Being angry with someone else just hurts us; it doesn't affect them. Not forgiving leads to bitterness and resentment, which eats away at us from within, and can lead to physical symptoms as well. So forgiving others should be a priority if you're Christian. It is not an option. Thanks, Pauline. And now a prayer to help you into this week. Father, thank you that you were and are willing to forgive us for the wrongs we have done against you, and for the wrongs we have done against others. Help us with the power of the Holy Spirit to forgive. And also, may we be willing to forgive ourselves and accept the forgiveness of others. Thank you for the cross of your Son, Jesus Christ, so that forgiveness is possible. We ask these things through the name of this Son, Jesus. Amen.